as an actor, the worst thing you can be is self-aware and concerned about how you look and, you know, whether you're any good or anything like that. There's some, but this takes it to another whole level because you haven't got any makeup. You've got no hair. You've got no pretty costumes or cool, like, props that, are, that you can, or sets, or, you know, it's like, it's, it's gray. You're in the gray mass. And so it all comes down to your imagination and your commitment to fulfill what's on a page in your own mind and you just have to play. And it, it's one of the purest forms of play that I've ever done in my career. I've never done anything that, that is so un, it's so uh, so bare. You're really naked up there, <laughs> and so you're only armed with this childlike purity uh, to, to to play and to imagine. Theater, theater's close to it. It's as close to theater as I've ever been in front of a camera. There's nothing like it, really. And yeah. then when you look over on the screen, and it's they've already got like a a, a, a low resolution. Of, of what you're doing. And and it's like, it is really mind blowing. You just look at it, it's like magic. It's like, how are they doing that? You got the space station, like they're all the guys at the control center and you're going, how am I waving my arms around like this? And my avatar's right there on the screen. It's just incredibly magical process. So we have uh, Tonawari who's the Olohatan. Our tzahik of our tribe is Rona, played by Kate Winslet. Then we have Aonung, our oldest son, and our daughter, who is Tsere. Now, we hold a, an important position in our village, in our reef village, and we have a lot of expectations upon us that we put upon ourselves and on our children around traditional conduct, about what is right and what is wrong about uh, our traditions and how we are to do things. We have a very classical approach to how we behave um, for not only our family, but for our, our reef family and our community and for other reef and all of our cousins and brothers and sisters of the ocean. So it's a very highly organized society. Kate Winslet is a legend, not because of her past work alone, but the way she just rocked in here, just picked up her character. She had to sing a song, I think. She had to prep everything. She had to be in the haka. She had to sing the song and not be. She had to, the, she had to do breathe ups, learn how to breathe up. She has these huge underwater sequences, which I don't have. I don't have any of those particular challenges. And she had to do it on this tight schedule and she did it all and she made it look easy. I know it wasn't easy. I know how hard she works, but she's uh, she's a legend. She's amazing. She's a, a yeah. She's a real force. Yeah, like Jim does does really uh, treat us like his film family. You know, he does have his own family at home, and I don't, don't know where he has time to do that. But he he really does um, openly sort of say, no, I, I want to build a family. I want to come. He's not coming to work every day. He's coming to spend time with his film family. And he really does treat us, you know, within the scope of doing a production. You know, you really do feel a genuine connection there for the guy. And I think he needs that to get this done as well. Like, we'll go, you know, we'll go to where he needs us to go to get this done. It's a, it's a mammoth undertaking. It's huge.